Hi, we're Team 4. My name is Krista Henry and I'm studying Civil Engineering. My name is Simon Orsel and I'm studying Civil Engineering. My name is Ashley Smith and I'm studying Civil Engineering. My name is Monte Duper and I'm studying Electrical Engineering. For this project, our requirements are we must include a bridge. We have an assigned theme and for us it's acoustic slash vibration. Uh, we need two electrical com components, one mechanical component, and it has to last anywhere between 8 to 12 seconds. For our constraints, we have a limited space provided to us. It can be no more than 12 seconds and no less than 8 seconds. We have limited supplies and a budget of 3500 The first step of our Rube Goldberg project is the slide. The slide connects a clear hose to a wooden structure using copper wire. Energy will be transferred from group three into the steel ball. As the steel ball rolls down the clear tubing, it will gain momentum and transfer energy onto step two, the bridge. Step two is our bridge step. For our bridge, we were required to have it at a length of at least 16 inches, and it was had to be able to hold a minimum of two pounds. Our constraints for the bridge were that it had to uh, be created with no more than 100 popsicle sticks and less than four ounces bottle of Elmer's glue. Uh, the same marble that was in step one will be transferred to step two. It will roll across the bridge, hitting a switch that transfers energy to the Ferris wheel in step three. On to step three, we have our Ferris wheel, which contains our mechanical component, electrical component, as well as our theme of acoustics. Uh, from step two of the bridge, a ball is gonna come and hit this switch, which will power the motor, which is our electrical component. This motor is gonna power this wheel, which is gonna turn and it has bells on it, which are gonna hit this tab to make the ringing noise. The mechanical component is the wheel on the axis. On the wheel, we also have a tab here, which when turned will hit this ball in step four, which will transfer energy from step three to step four. Okay, so step four, it's gonna be activated, which is that little thing right there, the steel ball, by the tab from step three, the, from the Ferris wheel. And the steel ball is gonna roll down this inclined plane. And here, these little objects are either gonna be semi-cut tubes or like paper, old paper towel rolls. And once it gets to the end, it's gonna land on this button, which is gonna turn off this Ferris wheel, which will complete our requirements for the two switches we need for our whole Rube Goldberg section. From there, the steel ball is going to roll down this track. It will activate step five, the rat trap. So step five, the rat trap, it's a quick action. So basically it's activated by the steel ball that's from step four, it's just gonna nudge the, whatever object we have, it's gonna be a little weighted, so it holds this string, which holds back this actual metal mechanism that, hold, that has like a popsicle stick attached that will basically slam into the step five's team's button, which will have energy transferred to team five. The estimated time for a Rube Goldberg is 11 seconds. The ball will take two seconds to travel down the clear tubing and transfer energy onto step two. The ball will take one second to travel across the bridge. And it will take three seconds for the Ferris wheel to initiate energy into step four. The ball will then take four seconds to travel down the incline board and turn off the switch. And it will take one second for the rat trap to initiate energy to group five. All right, for a quick summary of our Rube Goldberg, we chose each and every component for a specific reason because we thought it was the best way to get everything done efficiently and easily. For our first step, we did the marble slide because it easily allowed us to uh, get energy from group three. And then in step two, it fulfills our bridge and civil engineering requirement. In step three, it allowed us to uh, use our acoustics theme, our two electrical components, and our mechanical component. And then in step four, this was mainly our, uh, what we used to fulfill our time requirement. So it would last the 10 seconds. And then in step five, we have the mousetrap, which allows us to easily transfer energy to group five.